so hey everyone and today's problem's name is longest common prefix and it has been asked by google too and many other companies also ask the same question that is why we are doing it today so let us see what the problem states write a function to find the longest common prefix among the array of strings so we are given an array and the array will contain strings so what we need to return is common prefix of all the strings also pretty easy to understand and if there is no common prefix return an empty string and what are prefixes prefix is basically the beginning part okay so let us see the example one first the input contains these th three strings you can say that flower flow and flight okay so for this input array our output should be fl this string as you can see that fl is the common prefix of all three strings so the output should be fl and if we look at example 2 the first element of uh, this string is d and here you can see that there is no d so there is no common uh, prefix so the output is an empty string so it is quite easy problem and I'll say it is uh, a bit overrated because it is not that tough. Let us see how we are going to do this. So uh, suppose uh, this was the case given to us in the example. I have taken the first string out and these uh, remaining strings are in the array too. I will tell you why have I written it like this. Uh, it is basically for understanding at how we will solve this what I will do I will uh, take the first element of the array separate and I will take its first character so we will go character by character okay so first of all this f is the uh, it's the first character of the first element of the array okay so its first character is f so we will search the array and we'll check if the first character of every string of the array contains an f or not so you can see that there is one f okay here is also one f so that means that i can return this flower string up till first element so i can return this string till this f okay now we'll check for the next element l so yes it contains l at the second uh, location it also contains L so that means I can return flower up till its second element so you can see that I can return up till this so now we'll check the third element so third element is O it contains O it contains O at the third location no so as soon as I hit the first no what I will do I will I will simply return my first string up till the uh, element that has number 2 so that means I will return simply FL so that is simply how we are going to do it and let's just qu quickly code this out ok so let's code now so first of all I will check if the given array is null or the length is 0 so if such is the case then I must return an empty string okay and after that I loop through the first string of the given array so i is equal to 0 and i must be less than the length of the first element of the array so this is this is the first string so this loop denotes that only i plus plus and inside that i will take a character for storing the character wise character for example we have to store this f in something in order to compare it with every other element so this character will be storing that str is 0 dot character at ith position and inside which we will write the loop for comparing it with each and every uh, string so for and j equals 1 j must be less than 
plus dot length j plus plus So what have I done here? If the element, if the sorry here, there will be character at ID. So what I am doing if the uh, character doesn't match the stored element okay so if uh, this f doesn't match so what i will do i will simply return the substring up till the element that is i here okay and if uh, when we will go out if suppose every character matches then we have to return the whole first string so return rs of zero okay so this uh, why have i written this this because suppose the every element of this flower matches just in case so i have to return the whole first uh, string so that was the code and i hope uh, there is no typing error this time and it runs in the very first attempt so pretty easy first the basic test condition after which there are two loops the outer one will take care of the elements of the first string of the array and the inner one will compare each with it with each and every element talking about its uh, complexity so uh, it's uh, what about uh, its time complexity time complexity we will not say it as n square o of n square rather we will say it as o of s where s from s i mean the total number of characters in all the array uh, it might be easy for you to understand like we are taking each element and we are comparing it with every other element then that means that uh, its time complexity will be the total number of characters in the array so suppose if i talk about this it has character 6 and then 10 and then 15 so it will be of the order of the total number of characters that in, is present in the array and about its space complexity so we haven't defined uh, anything as in space so it will be a constant space complexity so it's about the complexity of this solution and this looks good to me let us see now okay <laughs> at the very first time so let's uh, submit it now okay so submitted and faster than 100% of the java submissions so that was the problem and I'll see you in the next video